So if you take a look at this question right here, this week we are going to focus on information in a visual display. So a nonfiction text feature and how that enhances the reader's understanding of a text. So when we look at Monday's folder, you can see there's a very short text right here that I am going to read to you and you see the visual, right? The nonfiction text feature. It's a bar graph. And so I'm going to model going through this graphic organizer with you to relate and to better understand what the text is saying and then what the graph shows and how that helps me to better understand as a reader. After that video, you guys are going to read this short text titled Features of the Ocean Floor. After you read it, you have a graphic organizer right here that you are going to open. You can either print this graphic organizer or type right into it and you are going to complete and submit it right here to this assignment. After that, you are going to watch this lesson on grammar about the difference between a complete sentence and a fragment, and then you have some independent practice questions you will complete here. When we go into Tuesday's folder, we do not have a benchmark. Well, we do, we do have a benchmark, so we do not have a live meeting since you guys are going to be on campus for the benchmark. I've tried to really take into account the amount of time that you will be working on that benchmark, so significantly reducing the amount of work you guys have today. In this video, I'm gonna go over that graphic organizer for this text that you read yesterday about the features of the ocean floor and then you are going to read a different text. It's very short, it's titled Going Down, Down, Down. After you read that text, you have a graphic organizer that you're going to complete. There is only one visual presented in this text, so this graphic organizer should not take us too terribly long to complete. You're going to submit that here, and then you have two questions that you are going to respond to. One is a multiple choice, and one is a short answer response. After that, you have your Grammar Lesson 7 video focusing on run-on sentences, and then you have some independent practice. On Wednesday, I will go through and talk about this text going down, 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 and then review the graphic organizer you completed yesterday. In this video, I'm going to go through and introduce to you a new text titled Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. And in that text, I'll talk about some of the maybe unfamiliar words that you might encounter in the text and what they mean. I'll even introduce you to some of the visuals that you will encounter in this informational text. So after this video, you're going to go ahead and read that text, and then you have a discussion board response that you're going to complete. After that, you have a lesson in vocab, or not in vocabulary, in grammar, sorry, I'm so used to vocab videos, on commonly confused words. For example, if you see right here, these are like three that are the most commonly confused. There, there, and there. After that, you have some independent practice. And then, let's see, moving into Thursday. Thursday I'm going to go through and talk about those visuals that were presented here in this informational text. After that, you're going to just reread the text and respond to some questions. These questions are focused around those visuals that the author included. After that, we're going to learn a little bit more about capitalization, focusing on the names of people and which words, even in like a, a a title or initials and first and last names, which of those words get a capital letter. And you have some independent practice where you will apply what you've learned. Finally, on Friday, I want you guys to do something kind of fun. Be creative. You are going to choose one text that you've already read this week. So it can be the features of the ocean floor, going down, 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 or voyage to the bottom of the sea. And I want you to create a nonfiction text feature, right? I want you to come up with your own, something that you think would add to and enhance the text. So again, this is your chance to be creative. You wanna think of one visual that you could add to one of these stories. I've given you time today in addition to your reading, you have the time that you would normally spend working on science. So there are no science assignments for today. 
After that, we're going to focus again on capitalization, this time of places and things, and then you have some independent practice. That's your week in reading. Let me know if you have any questions.